this. Hi guys, so I finally decided to upload what I eat in a day. Now, um, this is a quick version. I tried to do it on like a vlog version of it and it's not very successful. There are a lot of things you would not want to see like my kids pulling at my pants or things spilling or burning. So yeah, I thought it would be much easier to just show you a quick version of what I usually eat. This is my what I eat in a day. And usually when I work out, I do have a protein shake. In the summer, I have smoothies. And you know, a lot of people know me as the smoothie girl and there's no smoothie in this video just because I cannot drink smoothies when it's cold, like I'm freezing. This is probably the most like realistic what I eat in a day. No acai bowls, no something that takes more than five minutes to make. Um, so I hope you like it. <laughs> So I have a ritual every morning. I start my day with a warm cup or jar in this case of water and I squeeze about half a lemon into it. This is definitely not half a lemon, but you know what I mean. Um, this really helps with starting off my digestion and it's like a gentle detox to the body. I've adopted this since I started nutrition school and after I finished and it's literally the one thing I suggest everyone to do. If you don't have time to put lemon into the water, just start by drinking a warm cup of water in the morning. It would really help with starting the day right. It will boost up your digestion and you're getting vitamin C. After I'm done drinking my lemon water, I'll go upstairs, I'll brush my teeth, uh, put some clothes on and then I get the kids ready. I'll have like 5 minutes in between getting the kids ready and getting out of the house and I use that to have a little quick breakfast. I can't leave the house without having something because I feel really lightheaded. So I usually make like every week on the weekend I'll make with Jakey these muffins. These are coconut flour, banana, walnut kind of muffins and they're so good and so yummy and um, I'll put some almond butter on them and uh, have them with a side of berries and um, with some tea like green tea usually so that is really um, helps me to hold me up until I come home and I can actually sit down and have breakfast this is also my pre-workout snack that I like to have. It has uh, natural sugars in it and some carbs to keep the energy up when I go and work out. And it's literally the most mommy-friendly recipe ever. Once I come home, I have time to actually have breakfast. I usually have like a full-on breakfast at around 10, 30, 11 ish. Because I'll have lunch much later, I do make sure that I'm getting good fiber and healthy fats and some protein in my breakfast. So, uh, this is an easy kale bread that I always use. I'll toast it and then I'll add this is a really weird combo. If anyone else does it, please let me know. Um, I saw it on Candace, the Victoria's Secret model Instagram ones, and I tried this combo and I loved it. So, I put uh, some cottage cheese on my toast and then I'll add some avocado I'll put a little bit of sea salt and then I'll pair it with boiled egg so um, this combo really keeps me like feeling full for a long time and it's really nutritious so um, the taste is really good and a lot of people like to put their eggs on the toast and I do that sometimes with like if I use only avocado but um, I do like boiled egg I make them a little bit soft and um, I just like to eat them separately so this is one of my go-to breakfast on a regular basis it's very quick I have my bread for fiber I have my cottage cheese for protein avocado for healthy fats and egg for protein Then for a little pick-me-up, instead of having coffee, which I am pretty sensitive to these days, I know, it's kind of annoying. So I love using matcha as my substitute for caffeine. I use unsweetened almond milk and this brand is great because it's easier to mix, especially in cold liquid. Um, there's a lot of them that are so fancy and you need like a steamer and a shaker and that little thing that does the thing thing. Anyways, this one is really easy. So I just uh, use one packet and then I'll have some maple syrup in it and then you shake it, shake it, shake, shake, shake it. Okay, I'll stop now. You get the point. 
this is gonna be so awesome for summer and you can actually make great smoothies with this, just an FYI. For lunch, I love using tortillas. I always have whole wheat tortillas at home and I always put a bunch of random stuff in it. This time I have pre-made guacamole that I made last night, so I'll have that. And then I'll use the shrimp. So yesterday I decided to do like a taco night and my husband doesn't eat meat. So I literally just took some shrimp and I mixed it up with some chili and paprika and some salt and pepper and uh, just kind of stir fried it. And it, it's so yummy and it's so easy. I always make like a batch of it so I can use it during the week and not like overthink about what I need to make every night. So this is a great option. I also love using kimchi and add it to everything. I like a little bit of spicy and kimchi is such an amazing source of probiotics. So if you are looking to get more probiotics into your system, kimchi is a great way to get it in. I like to add uh, fresh cut vegetables to my meal, uh, whatever I have on hand, it's nothing specific. So today I had red pepper and um, that's it. But that's basically my lunch and it's pretty satisfying. We have the healthy fat in the avocado, we have protein from the shrimp and we have fiber from the whole wheat tortilla. So um, as long as I have those three, that's kind of my rule to go with meals to make sure that they're nutritious and they're satisfying and it will keep me full for a long time. And then it's my favorite time of day, snack time. And for this one, I like to have green apples. They're so nutritious, a little bit more than red apples. Has vitamin C and vitamin A, and they're delicious. And I like the tarty taste to them. And I'll add them with cheddar cheese, which is a little weird combination, but it's so good. Cause the cheddar cheese is like creamy, and then you have the tartness from the apple. It's delicious. Trust me, try it and let me know. To make this snack a little more satisfying, I love adding some nuts on the side. Um, the, rule, the rule of thumb with nuts is because it is fats, healthy fats, but they are fats. So the size of your palm would be the proper serving for you. And then we get to dinner time. So with dinner time, it has to be quick, it has to be sufficient, and it has to be yummy. So I do always have the prepared stuff. So for this dinner, for instance, I use brown rice that I made um, the other night. I try and eat mostly plant-based and not so much meat. So um, I always try to find vegetables that are high in either protein or other good nutrients. So I have, for instance, steamed broccoli to pair with this brown rice. I have actually a white bean stew that I bought the other day. And then I'll have some baked sweet potato that I always have in the fridge. And I'll top it off with a little bit of kimchi for spiciness. Sometimes I'll top it off with the dressing like tahini, which is also a great source of uh, protein. And sometimes I'll just use sea salt to season it because there's so many flavors in that bowl. So that would be my dinner. And then of course we have dessert time. So after about an hour or so, if we watch a movie or just want to snack on something, I always love to have popcorn. I'll make it myself. I'll have it, I'll make it with a little coconut oil. It's so good. And this is a little superfood trick for me. I'll use spirulina to add to my popcorn. It has no taste and it has so many benefits. And then I'll just shake it up with some sea salt and there you have it. Spirulina is such a great way to get some protein in and excellent source of vitamin A, K1, K2, B12. It is a superfood. So please try it out. It has no taste so you can pair it with popcorn and it won't taste gross I swear. And then of course some dark chocolate. I usually go for about uh, at least 50 to 70 percent dark chocolate I like it with some almonds in it it's my favorite and I also like to have peppermint tea after my meal it helps with digestion kind of set the tone for a good night's sleep for me so this is it you guys I hope you enjoyed it